Well, good evening, folks. Before we look at this evening's reading, I want us to pray for Liz and John. Uh, their uh, elderly relative, Ken, died uh, last week while they were still away. Um, uh, we want to pray for them and their family at this time. And also we want to pray for our children's work, which we'll do later in our prayer time together. Our Father, we pray for Liz and for John. Uh, and Lord, we pray that you will be near to them and comfort them and help and strengthen them at this time. Lord, we thank you that Ken lived a full measure of years, that Lord, he enjoyed a long life. And we know that a long life is a gift and a blessing from you. And Lord, we thank you for his relative independence and capacity all through his days. And so we give you thanks, Lord, for your blessings in his life. But now we pray for those who mourn. Lord, we pray for those who will miss him and those who, uh, Lord, will need to do all of the tasks involved when someone dies. So, Lord, we pray that you will give peace to this family. And, Lord, we, we pray that you will bless the funeral service, that, Lord, your name will be honoured uh, and uh, it will be respectful to Ken and to his memory. We pray for those taking part in it, that, Lord, you will help them in their preparations. And, Lord, we pray, too, for our children's work starting tomorrow. Lord, we pray that as we reach out to young people and children uh, in this area, that, Lord, you will help us to be effective. The reading today is from Luke 15, verses 1 to 7. And it's about Jesus telling the story of how a shepherd goes to seek the one lost sheep, leaves the 99 in the fold and goes to seek the uh, one who's lost. He get, tells it in response to the uh, allegation, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. And it, it, it's true, he did. He welcomed sinners and ate with them because he was seeking out the ones who were lost. We pray the Lord will give us a similar heart for those who are far from him. Lord, we pray that you will help us in our witness, that Lord, we will not think that any have strayed too far from you, but Lord, we will use uh, your anointing to seek those who are farthest from you. Lord, we want to make heaven rejoice. Um, and Lord, so we look to see those who are far, far from you, changed and converted and brought back to you. Lord, we pray that you will help us in our witness. Lord, we pray that you will anoint us by your spirit, that, Lord, you will guide us to those who your spirit is already working upon, so that, Lord, as we witness, our witness will bear fruit. Lord, we pray that we will indeed be out there seeking those who are lost, in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. <laughs> 